Every year, just before Christmas, Russia's President Vladimir Putin summons the media for his annual question and answer session. It's one of the great set pieces of Russian political theatre, and it also tends to last for quite some time. Well, Mr Putin got events going and underway about an hour ago. Let's give you a, a quick taste of what he said so far on Russia not being involved in an arms race. But as for us, we are not going to secede from the treaties and from the agreements. As for the START treaty, we have already heard from the United States that they are not interested in it any longer. It has been spoken about that if this is the case and if the United States take another action to unilaterally leave an agreement, this will be very bad for the international security state. Now, uh, our military expenses. We see those processes, we understand what it will probably lead to and will ensure our security without launching another arms race. Well, with me now is Olga Evshina from our Russian service who's been listening in to President Putin. But Olga, I wanted to start by getting you to set the scene because I did see that last night on Russian television there was a five-minute piece that started off the news in Russia just about setting up for this event. It's massive, isn't it? It's political theatre. It is. More than, one, uh, more than 1,500 journalists are credited for that. And this happens for more than a decade already. Um, yeah, exactly. It is a political theatre. Uh, and many journalists uh, try to attract President's attention attention by self-made posters which they draw uh, sometimes some even come in costumes there is one guy today in uh, dressed as uh, St. Nicholas as Father Frost as it's called in Russia so they're trying to attract his attention in order to ask their questions and are people sitting at home watching this as well uh, well, not that much. I mean, first of all, it's working time at the moment in Russia. Definitely in the evening, all TV stations uh, would be broadcasting this. But, um, well, people, eventually, they, they notice what, what happened. But I can't say that there is a huge, huge, huge interest. Okay, we're seeing live pictures now. And there's a journalist up on her feet asking a question. So how does it work, Olga? He sits there for a few hours and, hours and takes questions. Yes, he sits there for usually for three hours. Maximum was over four hours. Um, last time he took 70 questions. It's very interesting that most uh, journalists, uh, most uh, are from Russian regions, and they ask about their own problems. I mean, not their personal problems, but uh, problems of their regions. And uh, questions they ask are pretty simple. You know, they, uh, there, is a problems with, there are problems with roads. Uh, some people need to get to the hospital. And it's, it's hard to imagine here, but that's how things work in Russia. To make things done, quite often you, you must address the president, otherwise nothing will happen. Yeah, I can't quite imagine him as an agony aunt taking people's personal <laughs> questions, Olga. What's he said so far that's been significant, if anything? Well, there was one question, as you noted, on uh, foreign policy, on international agenda, and yes, Mr. Putin said that uh, Russia will uh, continue to modernize its uh, military forces and pay great attention to its naval and military forces. He uh, he also uh, accused America of undermining the current state of affairs on the international arena, said that practically they are withdrawing from anti-missile uh, treaty. Uh, I mean, the, these are all uh, usual allegations announced by a uh, Russian leader. Uh, he also made a quick note about um, presidential elections and opposition. Uh, of course, it's very important, you know, he's facing uh, elections in March. And he said that not naming, not even naming his uh, opponents in opposition, saying that, you know, they don't have a credible platform and their programs are very vague and he tried to portray himself as a national leader as a father of the nation wise leader who knows everything and this is a part of that big show so Olga, I'm going to put you on the spot you are of course with us in London if you were there right now what question would you ask the president <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've got a long list. Uh, yes, well, I hope our colleagues would be able to ask a question today. Probably about the uh, future of relations of Russia with the West, because, you know, this um, policy of um, raising, rising stakes tremendously on the international arena is very dangerous for the whole world. So we do have BBC colleagues there in the yes, audience. Of Great. Okay, hopefully they'll get a question in. Olga, thank you so much.